Don, Bob, David, Brian. When I first got the call from, <laughs> from Don Fry, and you know, I, Don and I go back a little bit. We actually had an opportunity to travel to Israel together. So it was like a friend calling. So I actually thought it was a joke, right? And when I told my wife about it, my wife Deborah, who's with me, uh, she said, you know, I, you need to have the members of the selection committee drug tested, because I'm not sure they know what they're doing giving you an award for this. Uh, as, the, as I said in the video, in, in uh, 2007, I was uh, honored to attend the memorial service for Mr. Sondheim. And being a graduate of UMBC, uh, there's a statue of Mr. Sondheim on campus. So I was not unfamiliar with him and for his, his vision, his ability to bring people together, to use humor, to uh, create partnerships when sometimes there could be friction and factions. Uh, is something that any person would want to emulate to try to advance what they're trying to achieve. Uh, but to be recognized in front of all of you, uh, some folks here who I know, uh, several of, of my uh, members of my board of directors uh, on stage with me is David Warnock, who is chair uh, of our board. This means a lot to the people who come to the center at 2201 North Monroe Street. Right? This, is, this is really personal for me. It's personal uh, for my wife and I. Uh, we have three kids. My youngest son uh, attended Ace High School here in the city. Uh, we took a chance on city education, and I'm proud to tell you that he is a rising senior in the School of Industrial Engineering at Morgan State University. So we're really committed uh, to the city. And if anybody wants to hire a rising industrial engineer, please see me at the conclusion. Uh, Don said I could only have a couple of minutes. And let me just share with you a couple of things. One, uh, from a business standpoint, I've got a, a board of directors, and some of you have heard me say this before, they are a royal pain in my behind. Right? They challenge us to use metrics and ways in which we look at outcomes to advance what we're trying to do with the business at the Center for Urban Families, but we also are in the business of helping individuals who come to us broken, challenged, coming out of incarceration. And so in 2007, and you remember the timeline, 2007, we launched an $8 million capital campaign. And as soon as we launched the capital campaign, something at Wall Street happened. We had not yet raised $100,000. Right? But fast forward to June of 2010, we raised and paid off the loan to our lender, uh, PNC Bank, so that we now have no debt for a 32,000 square foot training facility for people here in Baltimore City. And with the blessing uh, of many folks in the philanthropic community, including uh, Bob Embry, uh, we are able to provide free job training services and parenting services for young men uh, who happen to be disconnected from their children. And if we don't crack the code of men having babies that they're not responsible for, all of our efforts to build a better Baltimore will be limited. So I want to tell you that I thank each of you who've helped us, for those of you who may help us in the future. And the young man who you, uh, you saw on the, the video who talked about coming to the center after having served nine years in prison, well, today uh, I'm joined by two of my senior staff people, uh, Mr. Neil Patterson, our VP of Finance and Administration, and Ms. Sophia Ward, Dr. Sophia Ward, our new VP of Programs. And Cedric came to us and said, I'm planning to get married, right? But <laughs> here's the weird part. He said, I want to get married here at the center. Now, if that's not a testament to how you create families, right? Family stability and economic success in a community where so many people don't believe. What we want to do is encourage more of these people to come above ground, play the mainstream game, get into the labor force, pay taxes, take care of their children, children, serve as role models, so we don't have to have a social welfare system where we use taxpayer dollars to do what parents can do. And so on behalf of my family, the Center for Urban Families, and all of our supporters, particularly our graduates, I want to thank the Greater Baltimore Committee for, you know, bestowing me with this award, and I hope that for the rest of my life here in Baltimore, I will be able to uplift and live by the spirit of Mr. Sondheim. Thank you.